It's all yours now. As long as he doesn't bite my nose. There it goes. Ouch! Okay, so I'm going to continue upstairs. Hopefully I can do something other than sleep. I don't know why, I'm just... I'll turn on an episode of Bones and I'll watch a few minutes of it and I fall asleep. Nice, no, sorry. It's not like you can get up and walk around. It's been a week. Can I clean? No. Can I pack? No, why? Because I'm bored as heck. Hey, sorry. I'm bored as heck, Boomer. So I'll be upstairs continuing my sludge through the painting. <laughs> and Val will be sleeping. I'm going to try and color in... Try not to get holes in me. He just wants to give you a new tattoo. Does anybody want to see my my stitches? No, I don't show them your stitches. But what if somebody wants to see? That's gross. Maybe later. Leave below if you guys want to see my stitches, and I'll show them to you tomorrow if you want to see them. All right. All right, so here I am, back upstairs. Um, I plan on painting the entire room and both closets. Hopefully, if I feel have enough energy, I'll paint the other closet in the other room. Or, depending on if I run out of the paint or not, I have two gallons of this, and um, I've only used about a quarter of a gallon so far with the edging. But this room is going to need two coats. So, uh, we'll see how that works out. I'll probably only get one coat done. Hello guys. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Kevin is upstairs doing some work. I've been doing some coloring and watching some YouTube videos, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to try not to bother Kevin, see if I can figure out a way to get into the kitchen with my wheelchair, and get myself something for lunch. Not bother Kevin. Okay, so I'm done for the day. Um, I did put in a lot of hours, and uh, let me show you what I got done. This is the uh, east wing, one coat of paint. So you can see I still got spots. I painted the closets. They don't need a second coat because they was painting over white, and uh, none of them are going to need a second coat. Looks ten times better than what it used to look like in here. And I did this closet as well. And it's, um, it's, it needs some touch up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the, uh, the clothes rail. I might just sand it. Because I don't wanna paint it. I could paint all over everything, chips me off. So there's that. I am completely out of paint. Two gallons of paint has gone in the last two days. So uh, Val is already yelling at me. I think I started around 11 and it is now 4. So uh, I'm sure she's hungry. Okay. Managed to get some chicken rolls out of the freezer and get them in the microwave. Now I just gotta wait for the microwave. Yes, I had to stand up a couple of times. So. Good morning! neighborhood community. I know I look disgusting. I need a haircut and color so desperately bad. 
but and, and singing lessons if you're gonna keep singing. Hey, hey I sing beautifully. No, of course, dear. Don't listen to him, guys. I sing beautifully. Anyway, we are off to my doctor's appointment to have my feet checked out. Yep, yep, yep. I'm in my. Uh, let's see if we can see them. I'm in my fancy boots. Whee! Anyway, sorry I got sidetracked there. <laughs> it's uh, bright out here. <laughs> I keep telling her this is what outside looks like. Well, I can't go anywhere or do anything. You can. I can push you around. You need to work. <laughs> he needs to work. We need to get the house done so we can move. Yes, dear. That's better. Anyway, look at this mess. Look at this mess, guys. Ugh. If I didn't have Ricky coming over, hopefully, today... <laughs> I'd go get my hair done today. I'll cut it for you. I got a hedge clipper in the garage. I was actually thinking of you using that shaver thingy. You want me to shave your head? Well, at a certain level. <laughs> I think it goes up to a, a, a two inches. No, it goes up higher than that. Two inches. That's pretty far for a clipper. I don't know, guys. Anyway, we'll let you know what happens over at the doctor's. I'm seeing a different doctor. I don't like seeing different doctors, but my doctor's not in, so I have to get this checked today. So I have to see a different doctor. So what happened? Nothing. Did you get yelled at? No. What did they tell you? That you had a risk of infection if you took those off. Yes. Uh-huh. So. But you never bought the stuff for me to rewrap. Oh, it's my fault. You, do you want me to go out and buy the stuff to rewrap them? <laughs> wow. Love how you turn that all around. Do you want me to go out and buy the stuff to rewrap them? <laughs> no, I don't. Well, then, yes, it is your fault. Ha, ha, I didn't get in trouble. Well, that's because it wasn't... Dr. Lal. Dr. Lal would never yell at me. Uh-huh. He would never yell at me. Well, the nurse yelled at you. She didn't yell at me. Told you you were a bad girl. Yeah. We gave you what? Some more wrapping in case you were, you're going to be bad again? If I have to take it off again. He understood why I had to take it off. Uh-huh. He did. Uh-huh. I explained to him and he understood. So, everything went well with my feet. They <laughs> rewrapped my feet with much smaller bandages, which feels much better. I'm in my surgical boots. Ricky's not going to be able to come and do the computer until later tonight, if at all. We have to call him about five or six tonight. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> so we're gonna run home real quick, grab something, run out and grab a bite to eat, and I'm going to go get my hair done. This is just too much. I need a haircut and a color. Yep, so I'm going to go to my beautician and get my hair done. It's about time. Right, babe? Yes, dear. I look hideous, right? No, dear. He lies so well. Ta-da! Look at my hairs, people. I look so much different. Ugh. Yes, dear. Look better? Uh-huh. Much better? Paint a big W on your forehead and give you a trench coat. That's because I'm kick-ass Carol. Uh-huh. 
badass Carol. Sorry I cussed a couple of times, but that's okay because we're talking about The Walking Dead and we're talking about Carol and I have a Carol haircut. That's right. That's right. So, Kevin went to Harbor Freight while I was getting my hair done and didn't buy anything. That's right, that's what I usually do. I can actually look in the store and leave without buying something. Not me. I know you can. So are we going shopping now or are we going home? We're going home. I need to go to the store, which means I ain't bringing you with me. Dangerous. What store? Um, probably going to Home Depot. That's okay. We can. I can pass up on Home Depot. We got happy mail. It's from Vin Vlogger. If you guys don't know her channel, you should go by and check it out. She's got an awesome channel. Here's the card. The neighbors, thank you so much for the beautiful pictures and bookmark. You're very sweet to do this. From Vin Vlogger. You are so very welcome. And again, guys, if you don't know who Vin Vlogger is, I will leave a link to her channel down below. Go by and check her out. She's awesome. Thank you. Well, we have computer. I didn't say to move my Kit Kats that far. You said to move your Kit Kats. You don't. You don't need them on in front of you like that. Right. But now I have to get up right, again. Joe. Well, you don't have to have them at all. Look at everybody. Yeah, she had to get her feet rewrapped. Yep. And the computer's working. I said that already, but you completely ignored me because you were all infatuated with your chocolate. Well, you stole my Kit Kat. Well, you're not supposed to have chocolate. I know. So, I know someone's going to say something to you now, knowing what you've been through. Well, you're not supposed to say I'm not supposed to have chocolate. Uh, what? what? <laughs> Well, you're not supposed to have chocolate. Anybody who knows you, anybody who knows Val and knows that she has had gastric sleeve knows that she should not be having any sugar at all. But what, what happened? What happened? I get bored. I eat out she, of boredom. So, there's no, there's no candy next to you to get bored and start noshing on. Well, you didn't buy what you were supposed to buy. <laughs> Well, you got what you wanted. You didn't have to have steak tonight. But I also wanted uh, ham, beef jerky and ham steak. You asked for beef jerky. I don't remember yes, you asking asked for, beef, for jerky. beef jerky. You hearing this? I don't get. It. We have computer like my back. Hair. All right, back to your hair. Yes, we got computer back. And do you want to know what it was, everybody? Do you want to know just how silly we are? Kevin can build me an entire house. He can fix pretty much anything you ask him to fix. But when it comes to a computer, he is like, huh? Tell him what it was, babe. I have this keyboard. It's, it's a uh, wireless keyboard. Works really well. Except when a key gets stuck. And then it does crazy things to your computer. Yeah, it's not a key like the A key where it just says, Ah! No, it's a control key where it just flashes everything on your computer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There you go. So Ricky came, comes here, so looks at it. Pulls the thing out from the keyboard and he says, I fixed it. He did. Yeah. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, if you saw anything in the last two days worth of videos that you see to your, here tonight, please give us a <laughs> meow. <laughs> she liked it. Didn't ya? 
Continue. Uh, please give us a thumbs up or a meow. A like, a share, a comment, all the epic crappy stuff. And we will see you. Excuse me. You're licking me. You must taste good. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Adios, amigos. Bye.